I wanted to get a time lapse of the drone flying overhead as I drove down this road with the sun going down and everything, but I didn't realize that this is a no fly restricted area because there's an airport just like right down the street from here. So the whole section that I was trying to fly on, like this whole strip right here, has airplanes flying over it. So I'm not allowed to fly the drone. It recognizes that there's an airport nearby, so it deactivates my ability to take off. So I guess there's going to be no drone shots for this video, which is unfortunate because that was like my whole premise of the opening of this video. I am driving the Jeep at the current moment and it's not getting any better. Uh, I can't tell the shifter linkage feels kind of loose. Um, it doesn't feel very tight. And so I'm wondering if actually the reason that it feels so tight in the front is maybe it's stuck in four high, but it doesn't feel like it's crabbing. So I really don't know exactly what's wrong. But that's a possibility. Aside from that, I definitely think that there's a power steering issue because it is like really tight in the front. It's not unbearable. I can definitely deal with it. But just in general, I don't like knowing that there's something wrong with the Jeep. I'd rather get that fixed. You know, just another thing that's a problem. I'm waiting for my stimulus check to come in so I can actually get cracking down on repairs and stuff. I really wanted to get drone shots. I've been wanting to get drone shots for a while now. Maybe later, maybe another day. Maybe I can drive somewhere when the Jeep is actually in a little bit better shape to be driving. It's honestly like not safe for me to drive it right now. It's like the brakes are so bad. So last year I made a video where I basically created a list of all these things that I wanted to accomplish for the new year. In this video, I talked about everything that I wanted to have done before the end of the year. And today I went back and I rewatched that video to just kind of see what my goals were for 2020 and what I accomplished during that time. Rename the Jeep. Reason was is because in case you don't know, back a long time ago when I first got the Jeep, I named her Kara because the name Kara actually means beloved or beloved friend and I thought the name was fitting, my Jeep was my beloved, and that's how I in initially planned for the name to be, but every time I presented that name to somebody, I was always commented back with, oh, Kara, because she's a car, and I hated that. I could not stand it, and eventually, like, just the name did not seem as fitting for me, not only because of the name being annoying but also just in general it almost like felt like I was forcing that word out of my mouth like I, I it just didn't feel right the name just did not fit the Jeep was gonna be a completely different Jeep by the time I was done with it and I had already been thinking of a name that I wanted to name the Jeep I have had a name in mind for a while now as in like a couple of years now but for complicated reasons I have never felt like sharing the name I think it's safe to say Thing one was not accomplished. Ignore all the bad spelling. I actually think I have dyslexia. I can't even say the word. So uh, if all the words are spelled wrong, that's why. The beginning of 2020, the Jeep's transmission was still out of the Jeep. It had broken and I decided that it was time to just do a complete swap. I ended up swapping in an AX15 transmission. It was completely rebuilt, all brand new and I was just having to figure out the conversion. Unfortunately, because of my budget and lack of experience, it took a lot longer than I expected. I also didn't have a garage to work in. I ended up completely doing this outside, but I think we can cross that one off because I definitely got the new transmission in. Get a top for the Jeep. Think that's safe to say we can get that off. Get the Jeep ready for the road trip was my fourth goal for the year and I think it's safe to say we accomplished that. I actually did not think I was going to be able to leave for the road trip in 2020. I thought it was going to take a couple more years 
I wanted to have the Jeep almost ready though, and lucky for me, we can cross that off. And my fifth goal was to vlog at least once a week. I, around this time, I was trying to create a successful channel, and I didn't vlog like at all, like whatsoever. I'd only vlog maybe once a month, max. Once a month was a challenge for me. It was hard to be genuine when at the time I was anything but happy and looking back at the videos I did create at that time, even if other people can't see it, I was just not in a good place. I was actually looking back on a lot of my videos I made and just seeing how much I've changed since then, it's not really a pretty sight. I can even see at the time I was more happy being inside of a Target back in like 2018 than I was being in Colorado now when I was on this road trip. And I was just not in a good place. For me at the time, it had a lot more to do with actually pushing myself to try to move, on, move forward in life and try to be this more successful person of myself. I wanted to actually become the person I had imagined myself being in the last couple of years. And although I have accomplished so many things in this last year, there's so much more that I need to accomplish before I can actually become that person. I heard at one time that you should try to imagine your best version of yourself. Who do you want to be and what does that person look like? And once you find out who you want to be, what does the perfect version of you look like? Try to be that person. And I wanted to strive to be the person that I had imagined myself being. But just like looking back on everything I did in 2020 and how far I've come, I can definitely say I've improved so much. At the same time though, I still have such a long way to go. My goal for 2021 is pretty straightforward. I want to try to figure out what I'm doing and I want to actually be that person who I imagine myself being. Even now, I feel like I have not really reached where I'm trying to reach. It's almost like there's a pyramid that I'm trying to climb to and I can see the top of it, but I just can't reach it. There is still a lot of things that I haven't got to accomplish that I want to accomplish. And I feel like until I'm able to get in the right mindset, get back on the road and finally slow down and just take it all in, I won't really be able to get back into that mindset. And I don't think it's gonna be easy. But at the same time, I know what I want to do. I know who I want to be. Now all I have to do is get on the right path to try to become that person. I want to become this person who eats healthier, is more active, goes on these adventures, goes on these hikes, goes and just enjoys nature. Somebody who doesn't just bum around and somebody who can actually just sit and enjoy the scenery around them. That's the person who I want to become this year. My goal is that by the end of this year, that's who I will be. I want to get back in shape. I want to get out of this depression. I want to get back to being who I was before all of this drama, all this crazy stuff happened. I want to create a new reality for myself. And until I get back on the road and start working again, I will not be able to become that person. So for anybody who's worried that I'm going to end the road trip anytime soon, whatever it takes, I'm going to find a way to get back on the road and start traveling to achieve this adventure that I have imagined. It seems pretty small You could spend your whole life running But you can't, can't escape at all Fill